Hey, this will be a video chart on GOIG, GOIP Global Incorporated. Done this one once before, and it's looking like it's starting to come back to life again. Um, we had this very nice breakout here, happened on nice volume, and then we've had just pullback for the past couple weeks. All the pullbacks has happened on less volume, which is what you want to see from a volume analysis standpoint. Uh, during big moves up, you want to see big volume. During sideways or down or downwards price action, uh, you want to see low volume. Uh, this was a very healthy pullback. All the supports that you would want to see hold did. And now it's, like I said, looking like it's trying to come back to life. Not quite there yet, and I'll explain what I mean by that. Uh, but, you know, obviously it's not down here anymore. So the people that were uh, nibble, nibbling and accumulating down here, uh, it has uh, definitely paid off for them now. So let's first just map out kind of the support levels here and what's been going on. Like I said, we had basically a, a bull flag pattern, and that's kind of what we're still in here. Uh, if we made, we could make this our flag and then drop this down as our uh, resistance line, and then here we had our support. So if you're if you're going playing it from a charting um, charting pattern perspective, then we do have a breakout right now because this broke out here. Um, now if you want confirmation of that, the best area is going to be either this high or the what I would use is this 200 day simple moving average. Uh, if you're not familiar with charts, um, the 200 day, pretty much everybody has it on their chart so it's one of those that has self-fulfilling prophecy meaning uh, usually it's a resistance just because it's supposed to be a resistance or it's a support because it's supposed to be. In this case it's above us which makes it a resistance so uh, the key level on whether or not you can really consider this, I think, uh, a, a, a true breakout is going to be how it reacts when it uh, gets up to here. Now, if it comes up here and blows through it and then just keeps going before finally going sideways, then this is a true breakout, you know, with true strength behind it. However, if it comes up here and gets rejected and then pulls back down and drops back inside this trend line, then that's just going to be a false breakout where, you know, there really wasn't any true strength behind it. So this is why um, this will be very interesting because we kind of have a measuring stick here that's going to help us out in terms of whether or not this is a breakout because, you know, no doubt about it, we, we're at a breakout now. We broke through this tread line here, the bull flag pattern, did so on increasing volume. That's a good sign. But sometimes with charts, you know, you won't have anything that kind of will help you, uh, you know, gauge whether or not it's a, a, a truly strong move. Not the case here because we have the 200 day. So like I said, let's use this as a measuring stick. And if the price can get up through it with no problem, stay above it, then it's a truly strong breakout with genuine strength. If it can't, then, you know, this is just one of these head fakes where it was pretty much um, kind of a little fake out quick thing uh, with no true, you know, kind of bullish uh, momentum behind it. Now let's say we can get above this line and that this is, a genuine breakout then the question becomes where are our next areas of support or excuse me resistance and really the only one I'm gonna map out now just for uh, simplicity's sake and not to get too far ahead of ourselves is gonna be this level from right here at double zero five you can see back here that it provided support on that day <clears throat> provided support again and then when it, the price fell below it acted as resistance at all these times and the price has never been able to get back up here uh, but if it does 005 is going to be the key resistance level uh, to get through if this is going to be a genuinely uh, strong move I think that if it can get through the 200 day and show that it can maintain this level then it's only a matter of time before the price is going to push through 005 but like I've been saying one step at a time let's make sure that this is a, a genuinely strong move and then we can kind of go from there. In terms of supports, basically have our 10-day simple moving average here, but if not, still have the 20-day simple moving average, which is this red line. So those are going to be your two key supports that you want to look at. But uh, tomorrow and then next week, definitely, this should be a very interesting chart. I'm sure it set off some chartist radars today with the way it's moved out of this bull flag pattern. And now it's just a matter of uh, the question of the day, you know, is this a, a true breakout or are we going to have just a head fake where it drops back down? Uh, Friday will give us some sort of uh, clue about it, but next week's really going to be kind of the deciding factor on, uh, you know, how, how true, truly strong this move uh, was today. So if you do have any other questions on the chart, please let me know. 
If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and subscribe to the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook, which has been getting very good reviews. Uh, and with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. The best part is everything's free, so it's worth at least signing up and giving it a try. We've been making some good money together, uh, so you really got nothing to lose, no strings attached. One more time, this was G-O-I-G. -G. Thanks for listening.